Are you know you can make a long, consistent video with Grok? <laughs> Let's make a long video. Most people think Grok AI is only good for quick clips or simple talking heads, but they have no idea what it can really do. Grok can create full, long-form videos, same character, same look, same tiny details, perfectly consistent from start to finish. In this lesson, I'll show you exactly how I did it. I built a full 60-second YouTube video using only the free Grok Video Maker. No paid tools, no fancy animation apps, just Grok and a simple workflow. Before we jump in, here's a quick preview of the final video. This is what we're about to create. Rain lashes the attic window. Leo holds Alara close, trying to calm her trembling. It's just the storm, he whispers. Ilara stiffens, staring into the dark. That wasn't the storm. Leo grabs the lantern and nods toward the old, tall wardrobe in the corner. He grips a rusted poker and creeps forward. Ilara covers her mouth, her face pale in the gloom, terrified of what is hiding inside. Pretty incredible, right? All right, let's get into how to make it. First, I jump to ChatGPT and enter the main prompt. Create a 60-second short story with exactly two main characters to maintain visual consistency. The story must be scary with a layer of romance, written in simple, easy-to-visualize language. Then, to ensure the result is exactly what I want, I define the structure and requirements in six clear parts. Duration of narration, exactly 60 seconds. Characters, only two characters throughout the entire video. Hooks, include a hook every five seconds. Tone, fully cinematic with a focus on physical actions. Narrative pattern, high tension beginning, satisfying ending. Genre, a mix of horror with a layer of romance. In the next step, I enter this prompt. Take the story you just created and break it into clear, comprehensive scene prompts. Each scene should describe what's happening visually, including character actions, setting, and mood. Keep each scene between 5 to 8 seconds of screen time. Make sure every scene flows naturally into the next so the final video feels like one continuous cinematic sequence. Do not introduce new characters or settings unless they were already in the story. The description should be straightforward, visual, and easy for an AI video generator to understand. After that, I go to the Grok website. Then, I click on this image icon and navigate to the Imagine section. Then, at the end of the prompt box, I head into the Video section and switch the mode from Video to Image. Then, I adjust the aspect ratio to landscape to get the exact output format I need. Next, I go back to ChatGPT, copy the prompt for the first scene, return to Grok, and paste it there. I hit Enter and wait a few seconds for the image to be generated. Once the image is ready, I select the first one as the input. Then, using the Make Video feature, I let it generate the video automatically based on its own style. Now, to make the rest of the process smoother, we need to turn off automatic video generation. To do this, I click on the profile icon in the bottom left, go to Settings, and under the Behavior section, I disable Enable Automatic Video Generation. But here's where the real challenge begins. Grok just created a short clip for us, and now it's time to expand it and continue the story. But before I give you the answer, let's make it a bit of a challenge. What do you think is the secret to extending a video? Take a moment to think about it, and definitely let me know in the comments. While you're thinking, hit that like button so more people can find this tutorial. All right, let's get back to it. I'll go back to the main Grok page. I pause the video and drag the progress bar all the way to the last frame. Here is the key to seamlessly connecting this video to the next one. We need to capture the very last frame. This will be the starting point for the next video. So, I right-click on the video and select Copy Video Frame. Then, I go down to the prompt box and paste that frame. Now, I switch back to ChatGPT, copy the prompt for Scene 2, come back to Grok, and paste it right there. 
finally, I hit play to generate the second part of the video. Okay, here is the new video that Grok created for me. See that? It turned out really awesome. If you like this result, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. This gives me the motivation to record even more tutorials for you. Now, I'm going to repeat this same process for the rest of the scenes. But here is one important note. The prompt box at the bottom usually gets disabled after the second time you use it. Don't worry, that is completely normal. Just click on Imagine icon and after that, go to the Favorite section. You can also see your history generation and you can continue from here too. I'll grab the prompt for Scene 3 from ChatGPT and paste it here again. I did this for every single scene to complete the full video. But to be honest, I ran into a lot of challenges while creating the scenes. But since Grok's video generation is practically unlimited, I just kept repeating my prompt until I got the result I wanted. Now, let's move on to creating the voiceover. For this step, I'm using Google AI Studio. It's a completely free tool. First, click on Text to Speech with Gemini. In the Mode section, select Single Speaker. Next, change the model from Gemini 2.5 Pro TTS to Gemini 2.5 Flash Preview TTS. This makes the generation much faster. Now, paste your story text right here. Quick note, the original story chat GPT wrote for me was over a minute long, so I asked it to shorten the text to about 60 seconds. After that, just pick your preferred narrator voice and hit Run to generate the voiceover. Now that your voiceover is ready, all you need to do is open a video editing tool and sync the audio with your scenes. I personally use CapCut Pro, but if you don't have that, Canvas free tools work perfectly for this and you can easily build your video there. And well, now it's time to see what we've created. Ready? Let's go! Rain lashes the attic window. Leo holds Alara close, trying to calm her trembling. It's just the storm, he whispers. Ilara stiffens, staring into the dark. That wasn't the storm. Leo grabs the lantern and nods toward the old, tall wardrobe in the corner. He grips a rusted poker and creeps forward. Ilara covers her mouth, her face pale in the gloom, terrified of what is hiding inside. A scratching sound echoes. Leo raises the weapon high. He counts under his breath. He yanks the door open. A tiny, soaked black kitten tumbles out, mewing pitifully. But as they hold each other, the wardrobe door behind them slowly clicks shut.